Hey guys, I'm just going to take a couple minutes to show you how I created this card. This project starts with a piece of Brutus Monroe Raven cardstock and this fantastic huge hugs die from My Favorite Things. This is a pretty quick project. I went ahead and cut out this huge hug sentiment. I used my Gemini, but you can use any machine that cuts out these thin metal dies. And then I just went ahead and took a piece of ribbon, white ribbon, and looped it around. And I just um, adhered it down with a piece of mint tape. You could use any washi tape. Um, you know, you can use glue. But what really makes this card fun and unique and gives it a little dimension is a piece of either mulberry paper or handmade paper. This piece has some little flecks of fiber in it and has some little um, pieces of almost gold foil. And so I just went ahead and uh, kind of figured out what would cover up all of my cuts and went ahead and glued it down. I really could have benefited from using the double-sided adhesive sheet uh, sticker technique. I will go ahead and um, link that in the card towards the end of the video or it'll be in the description box below. It is a quick video on how to use a double-sided adhesive sheet with your die and cardstock to make a sticker so you don't have to worry about gluing down all these little parts. Um, as you see in just a second here, I do take some time to really um, get some glue with my finger underneath the middle parts of some of the letters. And of course, um, it, it makes a mess and then you also um, can potentially uh, really crease your paper in places that you don't want it scored, so. And just so you don't have to struggle with me too much here, I sped up this part a little bit. And once I get those all glued down like I like them, I go ahead and grab my Cutter B scissors and I do a little uh, trim of the rest of the paper here. And here, just because this paper is pretty fibrous, I kind of roll it under a little bit and push down some of those fibers that were showing at the end. And then you'll see that off camera, I went ahead and just cut a piece of ribbon and tied it into a little bow. And then I took some sequins and I go ahead and glue those down here. I think this card might have benefited from uh, the sequins being uh, kind of at ra in random places instead of in a row here, but I still like the way it turned out. I like this color purple with the uh, green of this uh, fiber paper. And then I went ahead and glued down this little bow on top of the ribbon. This is just what I do. I do it in two pieces so that I don't have to um, mess with 
getting a whole piece of ribbon and tying a bow and not getting everything bunched up. I just put one piece of ribbon around the paper and then I do the bow separately. And now I'm just attaching it to an A2 size card base. You see here I'm trying to get glue on the paper but not where you can see it through where the die cut is only because I anticipated the glue bleeding through and potentially warping the paper a little bit. So I'm checking my orientation which is always a good rule of thumb and there you have it. One huge hugs card. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please take a second to give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget, safety first.